What's up, YouTube? It's Brad Beg Fitness. I'm uh, getting ready to show you my workout here, and I just wanted to kind of go over a quick thing. It's kind of my little disclaimer. Um, the wife and I, we got a night out by ourselves, and yes, we went to the gym. We didn't go out to the bars. We went to the gym. That's what we do. We're fitness freaks. All right, so uh, here's what I wanted to tell you. Um, we have this thing where we take a workout that is extremely hard, and we like to make it even harder. So... Um, and we call this fun. We love doing it, but for it's not for everybody. And I'm really not trying to toot my own horn here at all. I'm just telling you straight up because if you get out there and you try to do this and you're not used to this, you're going to hurt yourself. Um, so take it easy. You know your limits. Don't push it. Well, push your limits. Yeah, push your limits, but be careful. Um, no injuries, all right? So here it is. I'm not going to sit here and talk the whole video. I'm going to get right into it, show you what we did. Chest press. This is where we're starting out. We both started with the same machine tonight. Um, but we were both working different muscle groups, so you'll see here later in the video that she's going to jump over to some leg exercises. I'm going to stick with strictly chest and try and shoulders. Um, so what we do for our workouts is kind of crazy. Um, the pyramid set is, I guess, what you would call it, but we really need to come up with a better name than that because it's more than just that. Uh, your first set, you're going to start out with is going to be 50 repetitions and you're going to use a weight that you're going to fatigue with at 50 reps then you're going to increase the weight and then you're going to drop the amount of repetitions to you so you're going to do 40 reps with heavier weight then you're going to go down to 30 heavier weight then down to 20 reps heavier weight all the way down to 10 reps heavier weight then you're going to pick up the weight a little bit more and then you're going to do 10 reps again and then you're going to go back up so you're going to go 50 40 30 20 10 and then back up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all while increasing the weight as you lower the rep number of repetitions and then decreasing the weight when you get towards the top. The top being 50 repetitions. So what you do is you're going to pick a weight when you're going up, usually using the same weight that you went down with. So that when you're at 50 reps and it's your last set there, you're going to use a weight that you're going to fatigue with at 50 reps. Okay, so here's a good question. What happens if you fatigue at 45 reps and you can't do any more? What you do then is you set that down and you only give yourself enough rest until you can redo the last five reps. So that way, you're no matter what, you're doing 50 reps. You're going to go 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You do not skip any reps. And so no, that good. means setting the weight down while you regain your strength and then going back to do a couple more all the way up until you get the desired number, whether that's 40, 30, 20, 10, whatever it is, 50, okay? Okay, here's Jeanette. She started with the lying leg curl. She's doing a superset, which means she goes from one exercise to the next exercise where she's doing the kickbacks right now on the machine. Um, and this is a fine example of why I don't want to call this just a pyramid set workout because it's not. We'll use a variety of different techniques from supersets to giant sets to drop sets to pyramid sets, all just to get a different response out of the muscle that we're looking for. So it's not just a regular workout where we're coming in and we're doing 8 to 10, 12 reps on a certain machine for 3 or 4 sets. DTP tricep extension. 50 reps. Do it. I left this clip in here for a reason, just to show you guys that we do have fun. Um, we are our own support group. We motivate each other and help push each other through each exercise. Uh, we don't give up. When we work out together, we always have an awesome workout. Uh, it's true. Couples that live together stay together. Come on. I love working out a lot, and I really like to switch it up every now and then. Tonight was really about the high volume training um, and it's not really about lifting a lot of weight for a lot of reps. Instead it's about fatiguing all three muscle fibers, your type 1, your type 2A, and type 2B muscle fibers. 
And when you do that, what happens with your body? When you break down your muscle like that to the fullest extent, I mean, you have nothing left in you at the end of these workouts. And your body's response is to grow bigger, stronger, faster muscle cells. That's the effect that I'm going for. Maybe not at B for everybody. Um, and for me, being off-season, the high-volume training helps also with the fat. I'm not putting on as much fat, and I like that because I still want to look good and I want to feel good, but I also want to gain a lot of muscle while I can eat a lot at the same time, too. All right, here it is, guys. Boulders for shoulders. I can't believe how many people are always asking me, man, I got to bring up my shoulders, I got to do this, I got to do that. And I ask them, well, what do you do? And they go, all right, and they'll, they'll tell me what they do, and it's usually never enough. And I'm thinking to myself, because if you're anything like me, which you are not genetically gifted into having big shoulders to begin with, you got to be ready to murder your shoulders. Um, and that's what we do. You can ask around, ask anybody if they've ever seen us do a shoulder workout, it is nuts. It is crazy we do a lot of things that people don't want to do and it's hard, it's not easy. So as you see right here, this is what I did. I started with a light weight and we pre-exhausted the muscle. The idea is to already have the muscle fatigue by the time we go in the working set. I grabbed real light dumbbells for dumbbell laterals and we did 15. And then I grabbed the heavier set of dumbbells, and then we did 10, and then I dropped it right after that. There was no rest in it. There, this video was not edited. This is a straight video, and there's no rest in between that. So you're going from a lightweight, 15 reps, to a heavier weight, and then you're going to drop it again, and then you're going to do 10 more. Then from there to front raises, and then you'll do 10 or 15 on each side, and then from that you're going to do barbell upright rows. Um, and now complete the set for shoulders, but at the very end of that, you'll see here, I'm going to drop that barbell. This is where I was talking about earlier. I like to make things even crazier than they are, and I do more dumbbell laterals. Your shoulders are on fire. You've never had a feeling like this before where your shoulders are just, literally, your skin will be red and blotchy because you've pumped so much blood into that muscle and broken down that muscle so, so much that it's fatigued beyond any limit you've ever done before and what happens is you end up with bigger shoulders and that's the goal and that's it so honestly that's the answer i give these guys asking me too you know or girls too you know what can i do to improve this or what can i do to improve that and the secret is there is no secret you got to work harder than you've ever worked before if you always do what you always done you always get what you always got right so with that being said think about it you know if you've been working in that 8 to 10 12 rep range for three to four sets on each exercise and you're not getting the results it's time to change it up you got to do something different you got to listen to your body not everybody's body is the same so what might work good for one person may not be the answer for everybody so find what works for you stick with it you know and don't give up on it do it for a couple weeks before you decide that it's not working for you and you might surprise yourself you're gonna see some awesome changes when you start working even harder Thanks guys for watching another YouTube video of ours, begfitness.com. Uh, we will help out everybody with any fitness questions or looking for online personal training too. I mean, we do it all. Thanks guys.